YouTube. I'm back with another quick video. Um, this one is going to be on Jill Tapes. I know I have talked about these before, but I haven't had a reason to um, get into one of them until today. Um, I have some broken ones I'm going to try to fix. So um, real quick, just kind of show you how they operate on the inside. Um, first off, Jill Tapes. This is the original. Uh, you can tell because there's no title underneath. It's just the one that came with all the Jills. Um, so they're the most common, we just call them the original tape. Um, so there's a bunch of these out there. Uh, they came in three colors. It's hard to tell. It's weird. It almost looks white on here, but it's actually like a really faded, like bluish green color. Um, that is the most common. And then this is a broken one. So it's kind of a bad example, but you see the pink. Uh, they also came in all pink like that. Um, this is one I'm going to be working on. So it's kind of a Frankenstein jewel tape uh, and then the least common that uh, I actually started to work on so it's missing a part uh, is the white one so this one I don't know if it was the original tape or not but there are not as many of those um, I don't know exactly how many but I have a whole lot of these tapes and this is only the second one um, I've ever ever gotten okay so um, now we can, let's see, let's get this, no, that one's broke, we'll take this one. So, flip one around, this is what they look like on the inside. Um, that's another thing, some of the tapes were clear, and then even doesn't matter what color the plastic is, and then a lot of them were solid, like this. Um, and that came in all the different colors. So, but here's a clear one. Um, I like them the best because you can see what's going on inside. Um, so I'm going to take this apart, but, um, real quick, the thing that I'm going to be fixing today, uh, are these little stoppers. Uh, so these are, uh, put in place basically to keep this shell in here. So this is what it looks like. And when you put the tape inside Jill like this, this is supposed to, see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. This is supposed to pop open and it goes up a little bit and then -da, there's the tape. So basically it's just a glorified shield. So the tape is not exposed when it's not inside Jill. Um, so it goes around the side like that. But these little guys here on the back, that's actually like what little, little plastic piece pops in there. And that is what keeps this down. So normally this, this doesn't come up um, unless, you know, you make it. So there's a mechanism inside Jill's cassette player that pops that open. Um, but with this, you notice, uh, see that one has that little piece, the little side plastic piece coming off, so it looks like a V. This one doesn't, see it's broke. So this is pretty common, and if your tape doesn't play or if it feels tight or uh, it just doesn't sound right, that is why, because even though that is mainly there to help with the uh, the casing it also the tape runs by it so it's not as uh, firm on that side so um, I'm going to go in there and look at that today so the reason is because this I call this a Frankenstein tape it's funny I actually had this back uh, this was given to me by um, a friend and to fix and I couldn't fix it and now it's back and you see it's missing a screw it's just all sorts of changle on the back, but this one can't be fixed because what happened um, was the little plastic piece that holds these pegs together is gone. That's why there's no screw there. Like it's, it's just not in there. Um, but you know, you don't want to toss anything. There's parts to be had. So now I have it back because that one piece there is the one that's missing and another tape. So I'm going to be able to fix one completely by taking a part out of here. <clears throat> and also, I've got this white one here. If you notice the tape is just, it won't really focus there. You see it's really badly crunched. Um, that also is inevitable. It's going to happen. Sometimes it's worse than others. Um, but since I have this extra one down here, this one, I'm going to go ahead and take out this tape because I know it's good. I'm going to swap it into here. So that way now from this one broken tape, I'm going to be able to save two more tapes. So I'll take it. It's a deal. Um, but all right, I'll be right back after I get one open. Um, it's just really easy to get open once you pop this piece off. It comes off uh, on the side here. There's little hinges. 
And once it's open like that, see, they just pop right off. Done. And then you just have the tape. <clears throat> but I was about to start working on this one. I want to go ahead and open it up. Um, so it's just these little screws on the top. So once you get these open uh, or off, just you want to very carefully open the top um, just so the ribbon doesn't go out or anything crazy. All right, I'm going to cut to that seam because I need to get that screwdriver. All right, be right back. And look at that. Presto, all the screws are gone. So now I can just carefully lift this off, which I've already kind of done. And see, it's just plastic. And this is what the inside looks like. So basically, this is your reel and it runs up through here. This is your uh, player where the ribbon touches uh, the tape head and reads it. And then it comes over here and gets pushed back onto this reel. Um, and then when it rewinds, obviously, it just goes back over here. So it's just a process. Um, honestly, I don't know how the tracks um, switch. I know that they have, they're double coated. So, because every once in a while you can hear both tracks playing. So if you, you know you pick a different option, it's going to go a different way. Um, so it doesn't flip over or do anything interesting. Um, but there is, there is a little mechanism in here maybe. It has something to do with it. I'm not sure. It kind of goes off on the side there. Um, oh, this one's kind of frozen, um, but it's back here. So this is the one, remember, that's chewed up, and you see it's not supposed to be all wound out like this. Um, so now all I'm going to do is just carefully, you can do this with your, your fingers, so you can wind it back. Ta -da. So I'm going to get it where it's snug, and then I'm going to, these literally just come off. See, so I'm going to pop them off. Now, notice when I did that, that little piece here was behind that little stopper. Um, you want to, before you take anything out, if you're going to mess with this, take a picture of it because I promise you think you know how it goes until you have, you know, fooled around with it for a while and then you go to put it back and you can't remember how to thread it. Um, so I suggest take a picture of the way it's supposed to be threaded. That way you know you're putting it all back in the right way when you're done. Um, trying to think if there's anything else in here. Uh, not really. It's, it's honestly pretty simple. I mean, it's just a piece of plastic shell. People are very intimidated by it, but, um, but inside here, there's those other two pieces. They literally, you can get tweezers. They just come off those little pegs. Um, this little piece, the little, what the little foam cushion is that comes off if I need to take it out. Basically everything can come out of here. Um, but I'm going to... Since I don't have two hands, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this, take this out, and then we can see what just the shell looks like. All right, be right back. Okay, and you see the tape is out now, the cassette part, the ribbon, and this is just the empty shell. So I'm going to, it's pretty dirty, so I'm going to go in here and clean it with a Q-tip. Um, there's that metal part I was telling you about with the spring that kind of, see, it's supposed to move like that. I think that has something to do with changing of the tracks. Um, and then this all looks good. This is very smooth. So everything else looks good. So um, remember, this is the one I'm just going to remove uh, the tape out of this broken one and put it inside here. And then this one should be 100% fixed. All right, look at that. With some movie magic, it is all done. So I went ahead and took out this from the broken tape and I have put it in here and I have already re-threaded it. Um, so you can see kind of where it goes. So it starts over here. This is where it's full. It's gonna go up, run up over this thing. Goes down, around here, across, it reads under here over this little cap sand wheel and onto this spool and it'll spool it up and uh, that's how the tape plays so it's kind of it looks easy but you can e easily just mess the tape up um so i always try to keep it flat like see see how that's all if i was to try to pull it now it's going to look twisted so best thing you do is just try to carefully wind it and then move it 
as you can. I cheated, I already had this one open. So that's how I remember it exactly where uh, everything goes. Um, it is very easy for this piece here to go up here. You don't want that. Um, now the only trick to this part, the top, because it's just a piece of plastic, you'll notice it goes this way. There is that little piece there. See it's sticking out there. So that, that screw hole here goes there. So when you put this down here, you just want to make sure that that piece of plastic goes in between the ribbon and that piece. So they're separated apart. Um, but otherwise than that, that just snaps back on. There's, there's nothing up there that you need to worry about. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this back on, and this one should be good to go. And I did go ahead, since I opened the other one, uh, I pulled out just this little, where is that? This little piece here. So, and that's going to go, um, I accidentally opened the wrong one. So this one's broke too, but as you see, these match. So it's the wrong side. Um, which is no worries, but I think l just looking at the tapes, I think this is still the one I want to um, try to fix next. So I'll still have one that's broke, um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this one up and take out the piece I need. And we'll just, you know, go ahead and put the broken one in there so I'll know what's going on. Um, and then eventually, hopefully, you know, well, we don't want to see broke tapes, but if I do run across another one, hopefully I can still continue to use parts. Um, point is, these, these things are, you know, super old. They are made in the late 80s, and uh, they're just, they're hard to come by. So if one gets chewed up or broke and you have a Jill, just please don't throw it out. Keep, keep the parts. Um, keep them for a rainy day for you, or feel free to send them my way because I can always use more parts. Um, but just don't throw them out. They've, they've lasted this long and um, there's always a way around to fix things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this switch and get these back together and then we'll see how they sound in one of the jewels. Now, I have a mess on the table. <laughs> this is my work table, um, but I am working on this jewel right now. So she has got batteries in her, um, her arm is not working right, but I'm going to at least use it to play the tape. Um, but yeah, I've got body parts over there, jewel over there. There's always some jewels going around. That's actually um, a chatty Kathy head. Um, she is somebody new I'm starting to work on. Why? Well, it's getting harder to come by jewel parts, so I needed something to tinker with. So um, I'm actually starting my chatty Kathy adventure. Um, she's older. She came out in 1960. Uh, and she has a pull stream uh, doll, which I have never fixed, but actually now through help of friends and a couple of videos on YouTube from other folks, um, I have actually fixed my first uh, speaking box. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video on that eventually. So, I just don't want to get too stray too far because this is Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse <laughs> with Jill. Um, and I don't want to go into um, other talking dolls unless that's something you guys want to see. So, if you want to see Chatty Cathy or anything else that you know I've, you've seen in my tours, um, I'm more than happy to do a video of that. But all right, that's it for now. I'm going to get this wrapped up and then it'll play in jail, hopefully. Stay tuned. All right, I have uh, both tapes fixed now. So we're going to see if they play. Um, now, remember, this is a jail I'm working on, so she might be a little wild. <laughs> I know one of her arms has been acting up. See, crazy times. Well, how about if we try my recipe for Jill's electric bananas? They're really good for you and totally right. delicious. Except, maybe you don't have any bananas in the house. Do you? Yes or no? No. All right, so that one works. She's responding. That's okay. I'll tell you the recipe Sounds good. anyway. No Jill's electric bananas today. And tape number two. That's the way to generate a whole lot of yep. heat. Put John a dance and treat. Do the July tree. Funny enough, almost in the same space. Alright, well, there we are. So now, from 
and that one broken tape, I was able to save two tapes. Um, and that's what it's all about. So, hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you now know what's inside your two tapes, and they're not as scary as you think. And then hopefully we'll get this Jill's twitches worked out and uh, she can fix her face. Yeah. I've done literally nothing about it really other than get it going. <laughs> Alright, until next time.